Hey guys, Color Out Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and showing you guys how to put a camper cover on your RV. So this is the Fonzier uh, camper cover. I'll put a link in the description where you can pick this up on Amazon. But we had been looking for a camper cover and it just kind of worked out that these guys reached out to me and said, hey, would you be willing to do a review if we send you guys a cover? And I definitely said yes because like I said, we were in the market for a new one. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that comes in the package here uh, for this RV cover. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to install it on your camper. All right, so here's everything that you get uh, with your cover here. So this is a tongue jack cover, all your straps that you're gonna need, storage bag, the actual cover itself. These are for your gutter spouts, which I really like because on our previous covers, uh, this is a huge failure point. So it's nice that you get additional covers with uh, like some styrofoam on the inside to help cover that patch kit. And then uh, cover instructions as well as a little warranty card uh, because this is a three, you do get a three year replacement warranty uh, with this cover, which is pretty awesome. At the time of this recording for the 26 to 28 foot cover, it's about $280 on Amazon. So first thing we need to do here is get the cover laid out and identify what is the front side of the cover and what is the back side. And then I'll show you guys how we're gonna fold and roll this up before we put it on the camper. So I have the camper cover laid out. Uh, this is the front of the cover and then this is the back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm basically gonna put the cover on its belly, pretending that the grass is the top of the camper and then I'm gonna fold the sides on top and then I'll roll it up. That way when I get to where we store our camper at our storage unit, I can put it on top of the roof, unroll it, and then the sides will just fold out onto the side of the camper. So we are here at the camper now. Here is our downspout. Uh, and inside the little downspout cover, you get a little piece of foam. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make a slit here so this slips on here real nice and then I'll put the cover on here. So now that our downspouts are covered, we're gonna go ahead and put the tongue jack cover on. Uh, we already have a cover on here, but since it came with, might as well just double it up. We're up here on the roof with our cover. And again, we have the front part towards the front. I'm just gonna unroll it and then have the sides drape over. Now, um, you may have to use, uh, this cover does unzip on the sides. You may have to unzip it in order to get the sides to fully fold over. but. We'll see how it goes. So here is uh, how the cover looks. A um, Couple things I wanna talk about. Obviously I'm doing this by myself, so it's a little bit more challenging, but still totally doable. This material is kind of like a tent, a real thick tent material. So it is a little slick. So if you're walking on top of the material on the roof like I was, be extremely careful because it can be, uh, it's definitely a little slippery for sure. All right, so now we are gonna start putting the straps on. I'm gonna start with the ends first. Um, when you look at your straps, you're gonna have actually two of the smaller straps put together. These are, again, the shorter ones. The little bit longer ones are gonna go underneath. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead, there's a strap up here, a strap below here, get these cinched up. So we're here on our underside now, and uh, we have our clip hidden under here and uh, this is really nice because it seems like they really reinforce this area which I like and one thing I always thought was a pain on other covers that we've used over the past is uh, the fact that it's always hard to throw things underneath the camper well they gave you a weight on this clip which is pretty ingenious I like that they did that I'm gonna clip this in and throw it to the other side Up. 
All right, so she is looking really good so far. Um, now, ordinarily with most other RV covers, uh, you would just leave it like this. Uh, this kit actually does come with some large straps you can throw over the top, which I like, because I'm gonna put those in the areas where there's a gap between the straps. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the weight up and launch the big strap over. Alright, so here is the cover. It is all done. Um, so here's the straps. One thing I didn't mention is there are vents here. Um, so those seem to help. And then this is the door side. So there are zippers here uh, as well too, which we have used uh, in the past to access our camper before. But I really like that you get uh, some extra straps because sometimes these things do tend to wear over time. All right guys, well that wraps it up for the video. Got the camper all done and uh, it didn't take too long even by myself. I was totally able to do it. Um, thanks Fonzer for sending me this cover again. I'm really anxious to see how this thing holds up over time. It is a different material than a lot of the other covers out there. The ones that we've had in the past have been more of like a, a fabric-y type material. This material is more like a tent, but like a real thick tent material. So it, uh, it's gonna be great to see how it holds up over the time. I do have to say, I really like the aspect that it comes with a lot of straps around where the straps are, they're reinforced, which is uh, very nice. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, check out some of my other videos and I look forward to seeing it in the next one.